So, I love Star Wars. I actually think Star Wars is maybe the greatest film franchise ever. But unfortunately, as much as I do love Star Wars and as much as I enjoy pretty much all of the movies, there has been a big elephant in the room when it comes to this whole new modern age Star Wars franchise. And that gigantic elephant is Disney, and more so than Disney, Kathleen Kennedy, who in my opinion has done everything in her power to destroy this franchise. I'm not a fan of the sequel trilogy. Uh, I've made a video ranking all the Star Wars movies, and if you've seen it, I was not very nice to a lot of the movies. I think Rise of Skywalker is one of the worst things ever created in general. I think a lot of the TV shows have been bad. I just think Disney has done a really poor job with this franchise. But in saying that, there are a lot of future Star Wars things to look forward to. A lot of future Star Wars projects, movies, TV shows, whatnot. Things to get excited about in the near and distant future. In this video today, I want to be breaking down every single future Star Wars title and telling you if I'm excited about it, telling you if there's like hope in the future, at least for me, some things that I'm looking forward to, and some things that I am very, uh, very, very, very confused about. So I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna just talk about the movies first, and then I'll talk about the TV shows, and then I'll talk about some projects that we're not so sure about whether they're actually gonna get made or not. So the first movie that we know about that's probably going to be the first one that's made is this new weird Mandalorian and Grogu movie. A movie that was actually supposed to be season four of The Mandalorian, but they changed it into a brand new film instead of doing season four. All the scripts are written for the show, but now they've changed it into a film. Jon Favreau, who is an amazing director, will be working as the director of this project, and I really don't have much to say about it. The Mandalorian, I think, has been one of the few things that Disney's done well. The first two seasons are some of the best television we've gotten in years, and, and honestly, the best thing we've gotten from Disney in terms of Star Wars content. I think it's absolutely amazing. Season three was a big step down. It wasn't as good. They took the focus away from Mando and Grogu's story and focused it more on Bo-Katan, and taking back Mandalore and like something that really should have been cool but it ended up just not really working for me and I'm not too excited to see what this project will be especially since we got an announcement that Dave Filoni will be making a big heir to the Empire movie a, a movie that's going to bring together the Mandalorian universe uh, Ahsoka all that stuff into one big film and I, I thought that would be kind of the Mandalorian movie but apparently it's not that's something completely separate but at the same time we will be getting this as well probably very very soon now I am excited to see what they'll do with this character with a bigger budget and a bigger world and maybe a bigger story but yet again I just I feel like I'd rather have season four of Mando and this is just not something that's got me you know incredibly excited incredibly looking forward to this but yet again Jon Favreau very great filmmaker hopefully they let him do his thing and this could be great we will also be getting a brand new Rey movie for some fucking reason. I am looking around the world trying to find a singular person who said, Oh my god, we need a Ray film. I, I can't find them. They don't exist. They're not real. But yeah, we're getting a new film about the brand new Jedi Order. It's going to be directed by Shermin Obechinoy. I wanted to make sure I said that right. She is a documentary filmmaker, somebody who hasn't made a, many big Hollywood movie productions, especially not anything as big as Star Wars, which is kind of why I'm confused as why they brought her in to make this movie. But either way, other than some controversial stuff she said about this movie and, and stupid things she said on the internet that have made the Star Wars fan base very, very angry, just be taking, taking away all of that, the base idea of doing essentially what is episode 10, a sequel to the previous Star Wars movie, Rise of Skywalker, which is atrocious, and to do a sequel with this character, Rey, Rey Skywalker, God, I don't want to say, I, I hate saying that, I did not want to say it, but Rey Skywalker, to make another movie about her character, is just, why? This is a terrible idea, and there's no way this movie's gonna work out. Now, this movie was originally being written, and I also think directed by David Lindelof, the same guy that did shows like The Leftovers, and of course, Lost. He is a fantastic writer and filmmaker, and I heard his version of the story would be taking the story 50, 60 years into the future, finding an older Rey and, and a galaxy that has moved on from the sequel trilogy story, and we have a brand new galaxy, new, new conflicts, new, you know, a whole new Jedi Order. That, to me, sounds kind of interesting. So what did Kathleen Kennedy do? She told Linda Loft to fuck off. No good ideas. We're not in the business of making cool new movies, man. We're making shitty garbage money grabs. So here we go. Now we have a new movie with a director that I feel like is probably underqualified to make a movie like this and a writer who they just lost another writer. Well, so it has no writer. 
this movie might not happen. But this is a terrible idea, and God, I hope this movie gets canceled. And this is probably the only time I will ever say this about a film. I hope this gets canceled. I don't want to see this. On a different note, a movie I am excited to see is James Mangold's Star Wars movie called Dawn of the Jedi, or I don't know if that's the official title, but it's essentially going to be a movie about the first Jedi, the origins of the Force, and the Jedi Order, and maybe the first lightsaber, and... This is a good fucking idea, Disney. It's an obvious idea. It's something they probably should have made years ago when they first started making these spin-off films to the Skywalker saga. I think it's really dumb of them to continue making movies in the timeline of the Skywalker saga. I think they need to jump throughout history because, oh my god, the Star Wars universe has such a big and rich history. It's time to start jumping into the past, maybe even jumping into the future and going into realms where you have more creative freedom to tell bigger and larger stories because you can only tell a story that's so big in the Skywalker timeline because you can't have Darth Vader get beaten in a battle and you can't have these galaxy altering things happening because you have, you have these other movies that you have to follow the lore of. But if you go back to the Old Republic, if you go back to the, this, you know, the the dawn of the Jedi. You could tell as big as, uh, of a story as you want because they're really, the repercussions don't have an impact on the known lore in the films that we have. So this is what they need to do. And this is a great idea. James Mangold, fa fantastic filmmaker. Indiana Jones was terrible, but that's okay. He gets, he gets a pass because Ford v. Ferrari and Logan, beautiful movies. And this is what I'm excited to see. I don't know when it's coming. I don't know if it's actually going to come because I think he's making a Swamp Thing movie a a as well for James Gunn. But when it does happen, I'm, I'm very excited for this one. So yeah, this is this is a good one, Kathleen. Make more stuff like this. Of course, we also have Dave Filoni's Heir to the Empire movie, the big endgame of the Mandalorian, you know, era, universe, TV universe of Star Wars, which I am excited for because I love the Soka season two and I kind of love the story they're building here with Thrawn and, and the resurgence of the Empire. And this is kind of what the sequel trilogy should have been, Kathleen. But this is going to be great. I think it's going to bring together all the characters from this era that we love. I think we might might see Luke Skywalker, so Mark Hamill getting back in that mocap suit to do a young Luke. This is, this is all going to be great stuff. I, I'm very excited for this movie. I don't know when it's going to happen. I've heard 2026, 2027, so kind of a little bit of a wait, but Dave Filoni's great, and this is what the sequel should have been. So yeah, I'm excited for this. We also have Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie, which is still happening for some reason. I actually like Taika Waititi. I wish he would stay away from big franchises. I wish he would just make original movies like Jojo Rabbit, because I think he is an incredible comedy writer, an incredible filmmaker that has his own style that doesn't fit well when you embrace it into these larger cinematic universes, and I don't know if his style is going to work with Star Wars. I might be wrong. His movie might end up being a banger. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what the idea is, but he is apparently done with the script, and I'm excited to see what a Taika Waititi Star Wars movie could be, but I'm very skeptical. The other one that I'm pretty sure is probably going to end up happening is the Lando film. I'm going to be one of the few people to say this. I think this is a great idea. I actually think a Lando movie is really cool. I enjoyed the Han Solo film, and I thought the obvious pathway to go after that movie would be to focus a movie on Donald Glover's uh, uh, Lando Calrissian and to tell a younger story with the younger version of that character. I think that's a cool idea. You could dive into more of the lore with, like, the gangs and the, the dark side of the galaxy. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do here, and it was supposed to be a series. Now it's being rewritten into a series, and I'm pretty, uh, into a movie, and I'm pretty sure Donald Glover is involved in the writing process. I think this is going to be really cool. I think it has potential to be really different and really unique, and I think it's going to end up happening, uh, and I'm excited for this. So the Lando movie, yeah, excited for that one. Now we'll go into some TV shows. These are the series that we know are happening, and then at the end, I'll go into the movies and series that I'm a little skeptical are actually going to happen, but these are the ones that are coming either this year or next year. We know they're uh, they're happening. First off, the animated stuff. I'm not a big fan of the new animated Star Wars stuff, I'm just going to be honest, but if you're into it, there's going to be a new season of The Bad Batch. Yeah, I don't really care. Another season of Tales of the Jedi, which I actually, I, I like that. That was cool. We should have some more stuff like that. And there's also rumors that there will be a what if type series for Star Wars. Yes, 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 do it. That, that is a great idea. First up, and it should be coming soon, Skeleton Crew, the brand new Star Wars series. I'm pretty sure director John Watts, who did the last three Spider-Man movies for Disney, he is going to be making the series, or he did make the series. It stars a pretty good cast. It's supposed to be a, a show about a younger group of kids in this Star Wars universe, and outside of that, I don't really know what it's going to be about. It seems maybe it's centered around a heist. It just looks to be a good, fun show set in the Mandalorian era of this universe. Am I excited about it? No, no, I'm not. I don't care about Skeleton Crew. I gotta see a trailer. Maybe the trailer will win me over, but I don't know. The images, the premise, it just all seems like regular stuff. I, I like Jude Law. Jude Law's in this thing. 
that's exciting. But yeah, uh, who cares? We're also getting the Acolyte. Now, this is the first Star Wars show that's taking place in the High Republic era, this weird era that Disney created that takes place before the prequels, where it's like, this isn't the old Republic. No, no, no. We're not going to give the, the extended universe writers any credit. No, no, no. This is the High Republic. It, it's different. But, but it's the same shit. Now, besides my uh, my feelings towards what the High Republic is in general, this is a show I'm excited about. Apparently, it's going to be following some Jedis in the height of the Republic who are being, you know, taken by the Sith or, or you know, being lured to the dark side. It's a story that may be a secret Darth Sidious, you know, show. Is Darth Sidious origin story? That would be cool. I would love to see a Palpatine origin story. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it. This guy right here, Timothy Chalamet. He could play a young Palpatine. That would be pretty cool, guys. M make that movie. But I think the whole idea of telling a story of, like, a Darth Plagueis, you know, uh, recruiting Palpatine and, and and the origins of what would become the prequel trilogy and, and, and Darth Sidious and that whole story would be really cool. Is that what this is? Probably not. I've heard a lot of other stuff about the show that, that makes it sound like it's not going to be very good. But at the end of the day, it's going to be about Jedi. It's going to be about Sith. It's going to be a part uh, uh, during a timeline where they could really do a lot of different things creatively. I'm excited to see it, but I'm also... Very nervous and skeptical. We'll also be getting Andor Season 2. Okay, I didn't love the first season. I might be the only person that didn't love it. I just thought it was kind of boring because you're following these characters. You know exactly where they're going to end up. You know where their story goes. And, and still, seeing the origins of the Rebellion is cool, but I feel like everything that was done with this character was done best in Rogue One. I feel like that movie peaked with this type of storytelling about the Rebellion. But hey, I'm in the minority of that opinion. Everybody loves this show. I'm sure season two, everybody's going to love that. So yeah, you're getting more Andor. You're also getting more Ahsoka, Ahsoka season two. This is probably the thing I'm most excited about on this entire list. I love the first season. I think Dave Filoni did a great job with it. The stuff with Anakin, beautiful. It made me cry, man. It was gorgeous. They set up a really interesting second season with this new galaxy where the Force, that there's something calling out to, like, Balin Skull, the main villain, or kind of villain, I don't really know. But there's just, something, like, the origins of the Force seem to be connected with this new galaxy. You have Thrawn, who's now in our galaxy, or not ours, but the Star Wars galaxy, trying to take things over, like... I'm so excited. This is some cool shit. This is what I like about Star Wars, and it's being made by the right people. Ahsoka Season 2, I'm down for it. Now I'm going to talk about some stuff that has been announced, and it hasn't been officially canceled, but these are things that I don't really think are going to be made, but maybe. First up is Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron movie. Now this film was essentially kind of a follow-up to Rogue One, and it was sold as a Top Gun in Star Wars type movie. That's awesome. It's not going to get made, because Patty Jenkins has just kind of disappeared. Her Wonder Woman movie got cancelled. Wonder Woman 1984, I think it was called, was bad. This isn't happening. The Ryan Johnson Star Wars trilogy. I would love to see it, because Ryan Johnson's a great filmmaker, and I know The Last Jedi isn't loved. I don't love it. But I love Ryan Johnson, so I would love to see him get kind of a fresh start in the Star Wars universe and play around in a timeline where he has freedom to do stuff. That would be cool. Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie? Not happening. But yeah, I guess that would be cool. Why not? Let's make a Marvel movie inside Star Wars. Like, we haven't already done that 15 times already. And last but not least, that weird Rangers of the New Republic thing, I'm pretty sure that already got cancelled, but who cares? That would have been shit anyways. But yeah, as you can see, we got a lot of stuff coming in the Star Wars universe, a lot that I'm excited for, a lot that I'm not excited for whatsoever. I'm a little worried about the Star Wars universe, because I still think the dumb people that put Star Wars in the position that it's in right now are still, unfortunately, in charge of Star Wars, so I don't have a lot of faith that it's going to be corrected, but maybe Dave Filoni will, will be able to sink his teeth in enough stuff and bring enough greatness to this universe to make a lot of these projects amazing, and, and that's all you could really hope for. Your Star Wars is amazing, and it deserves the proper cinematic universe or cinematic representation, and we might be getting it. But that's the video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Click the video on your screen right now to see more of my stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow.